Describe a shake weight. It's... What shake weight? This one? Supposedly, it's like supposed to work your muscles in your arm or something. Sort of inappropriate. A prancer size. Is that one word or two? Someone who prances around is someone who's like skipping around. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't know. I can't even guess. I have not done Zumba, but I actually really want to do it. Since I think it's like the gateway drug to uh, actually dancing. I haven't done any of the fitness dancing things. Usually just dancing in general just like does cardio, so not specifically Zumba. Yeah, I like dance. I mean, this girl, you can twist class. I go dancing class and yeah, I like that. If you think a dance class, it's so intimate and like your individual performance is judged a lot more than in a Zumba class where you're with like a bunch of seven year olds. So I was thinking about taking a Zumba class actually. I'm Manny Lisiaga, executive chef here at Team Liquid. Uh, I come from a classical fine dining background, but what we need here is more uh, a family environment. The main focus here is that we're a productive environment within the day, and most of that energy needs to be done in a natural way without things that hold, hold us down, slow us down. When I was 15 playing video games, it's a lot different than now. It starts at that front door. Anybody that comes to this environment is gonna sharpen up. Either they wanna do it, they wanna be better, or we're gonna make them better. The, the idea is that iron sharpens iron, right? These kids are smart, but at times they have moments of, you know, breakdown, if it's in here or in here. Just the ability to compete in a more productive way, as opposed to just emotionally like driven of, I gotta compete, I gotta win, I gotta win, I gotta win. Winning doesn't always come in, in winning. Winning comes in losing. You learned about yourself, that you were able to compose yourself after the loss. As strong you are of awareness of yourself, you become a winner more and more. I'm gonna see now athletes grow up and become better people. As you can see, like struggles make us better. I want them to be light in their mind, light in their spirit, and light in their body. And I think that the food is basically helping them and guiding them to make it easier for them to achieve what they're needing to do. Basically, growing up, I had absolutely no idea like what was healthy and what wasn't. All of my life growing up, I was super fat, so I hated it. And I, I was like, I would always think to myself, like, man, you know, like, I wonder how different my life would be if I was like skinny or fit or something. You know, I'd be, I'd be dreaming about like, oh, maybe I'll get a girlfriend someday if I actually like, if I'm not fat anymore. Everyone started making fun of me for my man tits on CLG, um, and they would uh, titty twist me all the time. So then I was like, okay, fuck this. This sucks. Okay, Chowster was my sport at the time, and he told me, dude, if you just go to the gym and you eat better, you're gonna, you're gonna look better. And then I was like, oh, what, really? Can you edit out Dodo's hands? Back then, I was like pretty active, like outside. Like I used to play basketball a lot. At the start of my LCS career, I was actually pretty skinny. And then when LCS changed, like we were in a gaming house. Get the shit out. I wasn't, I wasn't really the healthiest <laughs> kid. Hey, my Steve. Oh, when I kid, I'm bad. I'm always say my daddy and mom, I always say, hey, give me pizza and chicken. <laughs> Actually, I like snack too. Oh, I love ice cream. Because in Korea, ice cream, really cheap. I, mean, I think when I go market, I always buy 20 or 30. And I'm, if bring this and, okay, this might, won't make, I remember like I started browsing r slash fitness, it's a subreddit, and I went to the frequently asked questions. That was when I realized that my whole life, my, my perception of like what was nutritious and like how to diet was just totally wrong. Just being conscious of like, oh, like do I feel hungry? Like how satisfied am I with that meal? And going to the gym. Ah, <sighs> problem, I always broke my key. 
and whatever, just go gym. And I'm like, ah, oh, excuse me, I don't know key. Can you check my name or something? And they say, oh, you don't, it's not working. Okay, let's go back home. I don't go to the gym as, uh, as many times as before. So I just try to watch what I eat and try not to, I guess, like overeat. No way, never. I've never tried diet. If I mean anything, I'm, my body is fine, or skinny. I don't know why actually. But people say to me, when you're old, you're getting better soon. I'm not sure still, but maybe. Well, before the games, usually I just eat something light or something, just like a sandwich. I never want to go on stage feeling bloated, I guess. And sometimes, like, if you don't eat clean foods, you, you, you feel a little bit bloated or a bit slow. Banana, or it's banana. It's have easy eat and have a sweet sugar so you can focus to banana. If possible, I want chocolate too. Welcome back. We are booting up for game four. Optic Gaming versus Team Liquid. Team Liquid is currently on a five game win streak. That's right, count it, five, it's on one hand. And if they manage to go 2-0 this weekend, they will lock a playoff by. Guess the sure can flip back in. Oh. And he gets the damage on a Twilight Shroud. Beautifully done. Oh, it was gonna be ships in the night, but not this time. Dogla is Woo! in, and Pobalter comes in for a little bit of assistance towards that top side. Vic coming in the Abyssal Voyage. Pobalter just punched the arrow. The taunt's gonna come in, impact. Hits in hard with the unstoppable force, and they're gonna be able to charm up very quick and take down Arrow. Big falls fast just after. Liquid continues to clean up on these fights. They're not there, and then in the blink of an eye, the entire team comes out of the woodwork. Acadian with Glacial Prison. Three quarters on cooldown, but they're still going in for the fight. Impact, and Ole's in with a grand entrance, and Optic has to just close their eyes with the incoming damage. And it's just so fast at how they pull the trigger here. They're going to try to end the game 32 minutes in. Ole in, Ole out. No ulti coming in, however, from Pole Belter. She just wants to get the taunt down. 3v2 situation. So they had 3v5. As the party is continuing here for Team Liquid as they get the last few hits on the turret. Who pulls the gold into their pocket? It's going to be double to get that extra gold. And the Spring Split champions will have a chance to defend their title in the summer playoffs. But Team Liquid is still leading the pack right now at first. So what's it going to take for you guys to pull off these back-to-back -back championships? Um, I don't know. Win? Win and what else? Tell me more. Uh, practice hard. All right, he's going to practice hard and he's going to win. Maybe the analyst desk can break it down a little bit more for us. Thank you. If only I knew it was that easy to win a championship. So late. Yeah. I have no yeah. idea. I, mean, I thought you were a duck. I was like, wait, Peter's not moving. Yeah, no. <laughs> I, I, was, oh, we lied. I, I, I thought know, it was actually only that got caught there. I was like, fuck, only got caught there. But this win, we're in playoffs, but uh, the other three games matter a lot. Okay, time to yeah. troll. So, <laughs> I'm to look forward to Warcraft. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Right A15, wow, he's back. What? Anyways, uh, good job. We'll go back and we'll review. Yeah. And then we'll talk about C9. I already taught you what shenanigans was. This isn't a new word. Well, who made the, the time of war? I could ask Eugene to tell you more because he can describe them in Korean too. Eugene! I can't. <laughs> what? Give me yours. <laughs> one day, one more. Like, if I use and people think like, what the fuck? Are you, are you American? Oh, yeah, I'll get you an SAT word calendar. They have that. Oh, word of the day. Just think, guess. Swanky. The most beautiful thing in my world. The most precious thing in the universe, my love. What does it say? He said he had poop feeling and then he started rapping. It's a pleasure to see you for game four where Cloud9 faces off against Team Liquid. Sven could try to wrap around. If he goes for a flash Q and hits it, he will get the kill on Bofelter. Belter. Heal. Oh, he lands a Q. Just straight up clean. Now it's Finny's team, it's Sven. He's gonna flash over and grab first blood. Big mistake from Bofelter. Nice play from Sven.
Well, the arrow. Oh, this potential play. Ole is going to be the first target. Good, yeah, good for the kick, but they took down double and Golden Blue. Just erases him as Xmithy kicked out of the respite, dies as well. Oh, Sneaky may be caught. Zazel and Golden Blue going to ride in and try and protect the Ash. Now maybe it's the other guy coming around on. Li uh, Impact could be the problem as Liquid for the good flank. Does get the barrels down through the choke point. Silent that from Impact, but he's in the front side. And I don't think he's got quite enough. The Lazarus fight, he's going to try and save him here, but he's going to get kicked out and killed by Sneaky. Throwing shots into Impact. There's the turret's gonna die. They actually almost both fall at the same time. Impact gonna get done on the front side. Spence Scarra tries to make it happen, but he's gonna dance out. The GA still not pumped as Impact. He's gonna be looked to fall down. Sneaky, able to get it. The next is open, and that's it. Cloud9 with another swap smash, Team Liquid. Uh, I think it was the same problem as in kind of had like early game yesterday where we we're kind of indecisive on whether we can fight, but in this one we couldn't at all. So I shouldn't have even been, been there in the first place to fight, but we just tried to, to be too mid. And <coughs> Top front? Yeah. Hey, you guys, I, but I can push that, but my problem is I don't have vision, so if I push that, I get that easy too. We could think more about the matchups, the play, obviously we'll review. Guys, anyways, yeah, we, we lost, but like, let's learn from this loss, okay? Yep. Mm -hmm. Mental health is pretty, pretty important. I'd say mental health way more important than physical health for league play. I've seen the pictures of Faker. He's got spaghetti arms, but he was at his peak, very mentally healthy player. If there's something, things bothering you outside of the game, then it might affect you in game. So it's always better to have a clear head. <laughs> Together. Turn, turn the other way, the light is terrible. When I'm happy or when I'm confident, my play is more clean. Even though, like, I lost some time with this confidence, like, I feel better. I think my mentor is very strong now. When someone flame me, I don't care. It's okay. Next game will be better. Mental health is kind of something no one really talks about, but we, we as pros, we're not really qualified to talk about it because we don't really know like a lot of the science behind it. We just have pragmatic experience and anecdotal evidence. What do I do to maintain mental health? I try to keep things productive. Every day I wake up, I try to tell myself, I'm gonna be better today than I was yesterday. And that's just how I think about things for the last like five years.